Please rise. Holy, holy, holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So today we do celebrate a feast day. It is the conversion of St. Paul the Apostle. Because it is a feast day, we will pray together the Gloria. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to enter the sacred mysteries by recalling to mind our sins, asking the Lord for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul addressed the people in these words. I am a Jew born in Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in this city. At the feet of Gamaliel, I was educated strictly in our ancestral law and was zealous for God just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way to death, binding both men and women, delivering them to prison. Even the high priests 
and the whole council of elders can testify on my behalf. For from them I even received letters to the brothers to set out for Damascus to bring back to Jerusalem in chains for punishment those there as well. On that journey, as I drew near Damascus, about noon, a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I replied, Who are you, sir? And he said to me, I am Jesus, the Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. My companion saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me. I asked, What shall I do, sir? The Lord answered me, Get up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told about everything appointed for you to do. Since I could see nothing because of the brightness of that light, I was led by hand by my companions and entered Damascus. A certain Ananias, a devout observer of the law and highly spoken of by all Jews who lived there, came to me and stood there and said, Saul, my brother, regain your sight. At that very moment, I regained my sight and saw him and saw him. Then he said, the God of our ancestors designated you to know his will to see the righteous one and to hear the sound of his voice, for you will be witness his witness before all to what you have seen and heard. Now why delay? Get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away, calling upon his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the glory, all you nations. Glorify him, all you people. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I choose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last says the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus appeared to the leaven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. If they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. So the Bible is just full 
of stories of people who are called by God. We go all the way back to Abraham, who, who God tells him that he's going to have to leave his homeland and travel hundreds of miles away to some foreign land that he'd never been to, and that's where he would be, and that's where he would found this great nation that, that God tells him he will be the father of. And, and then Moses on, on, on the mountain when, with, with the burning bush, God tells him he's going to go and set his people free. And Moses says, I can't do that. I can't talk. I don't know how to, to speak. And God says, don't worry about you. I'll send your brother Aaron and he can do the talking for you. And then the same thing happens with Jeremiah, the, the prophet who God called to tell his people to come back to him because they have strayed so far. And Jeremiah says, I'm too young. I can't go out and tell these people. They're not going to listen to me. I don't know what, the, what to say. And God said, don't worry about that. I'll touch your tongue and you'll be able to speak and tell the truth. And of course, we had the apostles who were mainly, a lot of them were just fishermen and just doing their daily job when Jesus calls, comes walking by and calls them and says, follow me. And they get up and, and they walk with him. They follow him. And, and, and Mary, simple little old small, young, innocent, Mary, the angel comes to her and Gabriel, and he, and he tells her that she's going to bear the, the Son of God, and she says, do unto me according to your will, your word. And then, of course, today, we see this, we read this great story about the Apostle Paul who, by the way, doesn't fall off a horse because there is no horse in here, even though most of the paintings in, in Renaissance paintings show him falling off a horse. More than likely he'd been on a camel, but that wouldn't look very good in a painting, would it? <laughs> him falling off a camel. But then we had this great story of him and, and his, his conversion. But it doesn't stop there. We have thousands and thousands of people who give their lives in the first few centuries there are martyrs because of their faith, and then thousands and thousands of more saints that, that give their lives up totally to God. St. Francis, St. Augustine, and on and on and on throughout the ages. And then here we are. And, and, and the same thing that we have in common, all of these people, Moses and Abraham and the apostles and Mary and St. Paul and, and, and all these martyrs and all these saints, we all have one thing in common, and that is we all said yes to God. We said yes when he called. Now, he calls us at different times in our lives. He calls us in different ways, but we all say yes to him. Sometimes it takes us a long time to say yes, or sometimes we say yes a lot of times. But eventually we say yes to our Lord, and that's why we are here today. There are two billion people in this world that say yes to Jesus Christ. All started from these 12 guys, and including the Apostle Paul. It was the Apostle Paul that told us that we are one body but we're different parts. We're all different. We're called different. We're called to do different things. This whole world is made up of little different parts of the same body of Christ. And it was Jesus who told us to go out and spread the good news and baptize everyone. And that's what Paul did. Paul got up off the ground and he went and he did what the Lord told, us to, told him to do. And that is what we're supposed to do. The one thing that we're asked to do is to spread the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we have to do it in our little worlds. We're not St. Paul's. We're not Mother Teresa's. We have our little world, but we have people in our world that need to hear that call. We have family members. We have friends. We have people at work. 
We have a lot of people that we come in contact that need to know about Jesus Christ because there are so many people in our country today that don't know about him. Now, who has, who, who has a crucifix hanging in their living room when you walk through the front door and somebody sees that crucifix and they say, oh, I have been to church in 15, 20 years. And they might turn around and go to church or they might ask you about that. It's called evangelization, and that's what we are called to do. Somehow show those around us that we love our Lord Jesus Christ and we've given our lives to him. Let us turn to our Lord Jesus Christ with these, our prayers. For those anointed by the church, that they may be prophets of truth and justice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hear the word of God, that it may be the guide which opens their lives to the truth, let us pray to the Lord. For all life, from conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the poor and the downtrodden, that they may find peace and joy through our community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For an end to the COVID pandemic and healing for those who have it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for the birthday of Mavi Aborski, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, receive the prayers that we have spoken and those that we lift up to you in our hearts today. We ask you to receive them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, O Lord, from iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith with which he constantly enlighten, enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock 
but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds and lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed Apostle Paul burned ardently as he bore his concerns for all the churches. Through Christ our Lord. So as a reminder, um, the fourth Tuesday of the month, there is a season saints. So um, it is, you are invited to uh, join them. They'll be in the reception area. You are invited to for fellowship and for, I think maybe they call it snacks or a light breakfast. So again, you are welcome to the reception area after mass today. The Lord be with you. May almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.